Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel, guys. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Guess what's back? Guess who's back? Shady's back. The Black Peril's back. Yay! Um, that's the point of the video. I've just had a lot of work done and like a large bill on the car and I want to tell you about it and go through it. Um, while I'm here, I've just had these alloy reels refurbed from um, Chai Cars for another video. And I've got to get the fake replica studs from, so I'm just trying to locate those. But they've done a great job with these alloys because they were so mangled. And now they're just looking really nice and fresh. We've got to sort out some new tires because these tires are no good. Anyway, the Black Peril guys. So when I bought the Black Peril, I paid about 6,000, 6,000, 250 I think it was, something like that, um, which was okay, you know, it's okay. Um, I paid over £6,000 down at Reese Braid, and I never really sorted out all the mechanicals on the car. I did a few jobs that I could do myself. Ram helped me, did the interior for me, and I've done a list of long as your arms of things that I fixed myself. But there were so many things that I couldn't fix for this car. And mainly, those things were underneath the car. So a couple of months ago, I took my car down to BMR Performance just for an hour of their time, you know, booked it in to have an inspection done and recommend what work they would do. They gave me a big long list of things and then I worked out the things I wanted to do, some things I didn't want to do, like the perished door strips which were really expensive and some other bits I didn't want to do but all the essential bits I wanted to do and I've had it done and now if we go down here um, I have had £6,887 so it's nearly £7,000 so I'll try and get that in the title to to you know get people's attention if you say how much you've paid what have I had done Right, first of all, replace rear indicator bulbs. The actual bulbs have got like orange paint on them or sort of coating on them and that's peeled off, so they needed to be done. Rectify headlight aim. So probably when I replaced the lenses and had the headlights out, I didn't put them back in properly. So one was high, one was low. Pressure test the cooling system. So I was getting leaks. If I filled it over the cork line, I'd lose about a glass and then it'd stop. So they figured out the leak and that was the um, heater matrix. Drain and fill, re refill the cooling system because it's got the wrong coolant in there. Replace the aircon fan because it was never, it wasn't working. Regas the air system and now I now have lovely cold air blowing through the car. Replace both front lower wishbones so they were advisories on the MOT. They've been on there a fair old amount of time. Here's the main one, or big part of the work, replace front to rear brake uh, pipes and rear hoses, because they were all just put in wonky and they were corroding on the edges and they were dangerous. Replace front flexi hoses. They've also done the fuel lines as well. Um, brake fluid service, replace exhaust center heat shield while they're doing the brake pipes. Replace the clutch while they're doing the brake pipes. Replace the rocker cover gasket, I think it was leaking. Replace the power assisted steering hoses to the reservoir. Replace the front and rear anti roll bar drop links. Replace both trailing arm bushes. Uh, investigate why the one touch window is not working. It was just like going halfway down and coming back up again. And it was like, it wasn't dropping when you open the door properly and making horrible noises. Replace offside front window regulator. Yeah, so the regulator was like damaged. Um, replace both engine mounts. So when I accelerated hard, the ASC um, head shell would come off the, um, it would hit on the underside of the bonnet where the engine was sort of moving and um, disconnect and throw up an ASC warning light. Inspection to service. So major service. Oh, sorry, sorry about the uh, sunlight. Um, fit super sprint rear exhaust replace the heater matrix I said earlier on replace rear exhaust with super sprint carry out repair to um, 
exhaust cat heat shield. It was, uh, they haven't charged me for that. It was rattling and it had been welded on before. The welds never hold apparently because it's different metals. So they've done a fix on that for us. Um, now, the exhaust system is the coolest thing on this car. So if I just put this down here, it's really transformed it actually. I'll just drop this here. So there it is. Let's just put that here and fire it up. Cold, so I won't rev it but um, it's really made a difference let's turn this turn this off so you can hear me it's really made a difference to how the car drives like it just feels a bit more <laughs> meaty um, yeah it's much more fun to drive it it doesn't make any like clunks now the, the whole car was making all sorts of rattling noises and bouncing around um, now it just drives really, really nice. And it just feels like it I've got more confidence in the car. It feels smoother. It feels like I just want to like rag it around. Um, there is, there'll be ongoing works with this car forever. It, it does sit too low on its suspension, doesn't it? It's dropped right down on these adjustables and they're a bit brutal. So, Maybe next year the guy was recommending putting a Bilstein kit on it and just dropping it a little bit with Ibac suspension. He has an E36, so he knows a good setup. So I might get that done. The only other problem I've got is if I turn the, the wheel, I get a little bit of honking. It seems to go away after a while. I check the um, fluid reservoir for the steering and it's uh, got loads of fresh looking um fluid in there you know the red stuff so it looks like it's got enough fluid so maybe the rack is on its way who knows um yeah that should be okay for the time being and that really is probably it for the car apart from refurbing the alloy wheels um and i'm going to um split those down with martin from fresh layers we're going to take these off the car split them so unbolt, unbolt them all you know chop out the sealant pull them apart take all the old sealant off take the center sections i'll take those caps off you know the bmw caps then take those covers and the center section and the inner barrels to be powder coated to, i'll get chai cars to do that as well i spoke to them um, and then polish once all the nuts are off this polish the ring the rings out so they're all nice and shiny maybe coat them um to stop them oxidizing again so quickly i don't know if it'll make any good any difference put all the bolts in um the scaler for a couple of days or coca-cola or whatever it, whatever hack there is to get them all clean and then get them back reseal them put the sealant in then torque them all back up again and um then that should be it really project kind of complete project money pit complete so never go and buy a 25 year old car if you're thinking you're just going to get it you know and like poodle around with it if, if they're on the original paintwork that paintwork's really at the point of failing and there'll probably be rust in parts of the car anyway unless it's all been all this work's been done if so i can understand why people um you know don't want to sell these cars after they've spent so much money on them I've had probably, you know, quite a few people message me about this car wanting to buy it. And I don't ask now, I just say politely it's not up for sale. Because every time I have asked, the offers have been about five grand. <laughs> the car cost, you know, the car owes me with this work, the paint work and the cost of the car, it owes me about 20 grand, probably and the rest. So, it, you know, this has not been like some magical project. It's cost a lot of money, and um, but 
the end result is a really nice car that I love and that drives well. And yes, I get to do content on it as well. So that has uh, offset some of the cost, although you've got to work and film and edit that content. Although my editing is not generally not that great. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is an element where you're a YouTuber where you can recoup some of your costs. So th there is that too, but still probably about 20,000 has gone into this car. Um, but I love it, guys. Uh, I'm just, I've just done another video where I'm just doing a maintenance polish on the car. I see a little bit of haze in there, I do. It's probably a bit of condensation. Let's just wipe that. Yeah, it's just like a little bit of condensation. Oh, that needs to be buffed out. That's been on there all overnight. That's just where I saw a little bit and I cut it and then put some more sealant back on. So I have just done the bonnet and all of this side. I can't remember if I've done the back of it. That's not good. Definitely done the top of the tailgate and the roof on this side. So I've got to do the roof this side, the wing, the door, the rear quarter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done... Yeah, I've done all that back bit. So, there we have it, guys. Project E36. They are great cars. Now it sounds a bit more rewarding. Now it drives better. I'm sort of throwing it around a little bit more. And um, real pure mechanical car. I can't recommend them highly enough, but don't get one, you know, unless you've, you're prepared to really get it to how it needs to be, check underneath for rust. You know, you've got two choices. You can buy an absolute dog 328i Sport for like five or six grand now, and you'll, you'll need to invest an absolute fortune in it. Or you might find one that's up for sale for like 10,000 to 11, 12,000. If it's had all the work done, if it's been repainted, if it's been future-proofed, I would much rather spend that money and get a good one Problem is, a lot of the ones that are expensive aren't that, always that good either. So <laughs> they can be tarted up a little bit. If you know what you're looking for, you think you're getting a good one, but you, you've still got to spend a fortune. So sometimes an out and out project is really good. The engines in them are pretty strong. So that t doesn't tend to be an issue. So I'd highly recommend them, guys. And a huge thank you to BMR Performance. What a job they did. They had the car for a couple of weeks. Just did so many things, so many proactive things. Like there's things on here that they've done that aren't on this list of labour, but I think the parts are there. So they've done a few jobs on there for free as well. Um, they told me the fuel strap linings were, were rotten. They put new ones on. They did some corrosion treatment where they took the fuel tank down and saw some little patches underneath it and things like that. Really proactive and really helpful. And just really go through it with you and recommend things if they need doing while they're there. So really good garage, um, you know, and they've got a lot of experience with these, all these BMWs, but especially these older generation with their, where that knowledge isn't always around nowadays. So really good service as well. So I'm really pleased. So thank you to them. And um, other than that, guys, yeah, if you're thinking of buying a, an old Beamer, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Nice manual rear wheel drive. Doesn't matter what it, what it is. If you get an E30, good luck. E36 or an E, you know, up to the 5 Series maybe. Get an E34 or uh, what was before that? Was it an E28? Um, all these, they're great cars with so much character. Um, yeah, modern cars are lovely and they're all smooth and they're tight. These old cars have got a bit of class about them and you really fall in love and you get the bug with them. Um, given the choice, what would I, you know, if I could go out for a nice leisurely Sunday afternoon drive, would I take the M4 CS or would I take the E36? I'd take the E36 all day long now. Now it's running good because it's just like you really rag it down the roads. Whereas if you try and rag it with the M4, you know, you put your foot flat to the floor and it's like, it'll rip your head off. Whereas this just, you give it a little bit of time to get going and it starts roaring and uh, it handles really well and it's great fun and, and it's just lovely to drive. So over the moon, take care. Don't forget to subscribe.
now this project's coming to an end i've got to think about the next one and i already am i've got some some ideas in the pipeline uh, but what do you think would make a good project for the next one it doesn't have to be bmw <laughs> though tend to if it's an older car it's got to be rear wheel drive and manual really uh, i'm not so much into the jap stuff although i do love there's certain cars out there you know that i love that that are kind of japanese that would be good um maybe other makes so let me know in the comments otherwise see you soon bye for now Where was I when you